Come on, Lucy. Lucy and Ginger, best buddy. Hey everybody, I uh, put out a video today just showing all the kayaks that I bought in the last week. Uh, since last Saturday, I bought some, Saturday and Sunday. And um, it's, it's winter time here in Florida. It's not really winter, but you know, for Florida it is like everywhere else. So kind of stocking them up right now and hoping that I'll be able to sell them here in the springtime like uh, every other year over the past eight years I've been doing this. Um, it's February 1st, Saturday. And uh, last video I did was showing how to tie a kayak onto your car. Um, that's probably the, you know, the hardest, just putting it on a car with no rack or no, no SUV, no truck, just a regular old car with cushions and straps. And, uh, so if you haven't seen that one, you might want to check that out before you go out and buy you one. And, um, so I just want to tell you about how I find the kayaks. I, I, mean, I spend quite a bit of time searching Craigslist, Facebook, um, Forgot to turn my uh, <laughs> my uh, notifications off on my phone. Sorry about that. Um, Facebook and let go offer up. Uh, I even buy some at pawn shops. I call around to pawn shops and see if they got any and check them out. And occasionally, I actually during like when uh, the season's over, um, Dicks or Academy. Sometimes they sell them half price, and you can actually buy them then and, and jack them up a little. You know, hundred bucks and resell them. You know, got sixty say a $600 kayak and half price and buy it for three and sell it for four. And that usually works out real good because they're brand new, people like that. Uh, one time I did buy one at an Ace Hardware up here that sells kayaks and I wasn't able to sell it. So I just, after a month, I took it back and got my money back. So I didn't lose anything. So that's a good thing about that. And then uh, sometimes, you know, you find, you look on there and you're like, dang, that's a great deal. You know, $100 for that kayak, I know I can get 200 for it. You know, that happens occasionally. And sometimes I'll even offer them more if they got a really super low price on it. I'll say, look, I can give you, a, you know, if they got $100 on a kayak that I know is worth 250 then I'll say, hey, I'll give you 120 And a lot of times they'll, you know, of course they'll pick me out of a group if they got a bunch of people wanting it. And that, that helps, you know, secure it for you if it's a really good deal. And if it's not, if you look at it and say, man, that's a good, pretty good deal, $200. You know, but I don't think I could sell it for more with it. You know, if, if you think you could sell it for 225, well then talk them, try to get them talked down to 150. Now you're making 75 dollar profit. You know, so sometimes you have to talk them down, or it's not worth the trouble. Um, so the one, the last, the, one of the clips in the video is me with a uh, kayak at Academy Sports. I didn't buy the Academy, Academy Sports. I bought it off somebody for 100 bucks and put it up for 150. Small, cheap. Walmart kayak, but I just uh, I did go to Academy Sports hoping to find some, but I didn't didn't see any on clearance sale. So um, the name brands you want to look for, of course, you can look them whenever you see one. You can look it up and find out what they're worth. Also, but your name brands you want to look for. Um, well, first of all, the ones you don't are the cheap ones are Lifetime. Those are the Walmart ones. They're probably the cheapest. Then you got Pelican. They're pretty cheap. Um, so you know they're not as good. For resale then you have um, future beach which is a little better better kayak but just not a good name brand you know people like name brands it's just like jeans or anything else shoes or anything else and ascend is a bass pro model which is pretty good but the best ones are hobie which hobie has a pedal kayaks that are real expensive but they also have regular kayaks and those are good ocean kayak wilderness uh, Old Town, those are all good name brand kayaks that have good resale value. Then um, Perception's good, and Necky. Necky's an older brand, but it has good resale value too. And Perception, there's lots of Perceptions out there, uh, and they've always done good. You know, there's just a lot of them. You can run across a lot of them, and they, they have good resale value also. Um, but if you're not sure, you know, there are some other brands that are real expensive you know kevlar kayaks and all kinds of stuff and, and i have sold some of those around the five six hundred dollar range you know but i've never tried to sell the thousand dollar ones it's just you know you have to wait a long time to find somebody who's willing to pay fifteen hundred dollars or even a couple thousand for a fancy lightweight kevlar kayak but i, I just don't like to tie up that much money i'd rather 
buy five, you know, two hundred dollar kayaks, and then make some money on each one of those, and then to tie my money on the others. That's just the way I, you know, just less risk, I guess you, you could say. But um, so the so I hope you enjoyed the video showing what the ones I've bought over the past week. Sold one at the beginning of the week or last weekend, I think, and we'll see how long it takes to uh, to sell these that I got. Probably about. I think I should have most of them sold in a month. You know, so it'll start picking up here in Florida before, you know, the rest of the country, you know, as far as people buying kayaks, they'll be anxious to get out as soon as it starts to get hitting about 80 degrees. And hopefully that'll be, uh, be good for me. All right. Um, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye. All right. Well, here's a surfboard we got for 20 bucks and some paddles that kind of threw in with the kayaks at the pawn shop and surfboard they're probably just somebody you know buy it to paint on it or hang it up for show and then here's one of the kayaks pretty good shape um had a couple of gouges on the bottom but nothing that needs to be fixed or goes all the way through or anything and uh probably take that net off just because it looks kind of ratty but it's not faded so that's always a good thing and it's an ocean kayak yak board and then another yak board over here, this one's older, and it's um, faded quite a bit, but no damage on the bottom. Should get a 150 each, I'm hoping, with a paddle. So I'll make 50 bucks off each one of those. And we bought, let's see, well, I bought one other thing. A weird uh, eagle that somebody had carved out of a uh, palm tree trunk. Palm trees are real fibrous, but somehow they carved an eagle out of a palm tree trunk. And um, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. And then they finished it off. Well, maybe it's a hawk not an eagle, I guess. He's got a fish there. There's the old palm tree trunk. That's pretty cool. Got that for like, I don't know, $35. It's kind of a bundle deal. And uh, I'm going to keep that thing. My wife wasn't too happy about it, but. Oh well, hopefully it doesn't show up broken. All right, that's all for now. I'm going to pick up an old canoe and it needs some work. It's like 30 bucks, so I can't expect much. They're tandem kayaks that look pretty good. Hopefully I'll get there before anybody else gets it. Okay, we got the other kayak. Threw it on top of the old canoe. Pretty nice looking. Not familiar with the brand, looks like a cheaper one, but it's a tandem. Nice seats. Feel Free is the brand name. And uh, got that one for 200 They were asking 240 Came with one paddle. I'll probably add one paddle to it. So I'll have two paddles and then I'll try to get 300 So make pretty much 100 off of it. I'll just throw in a paddle. I use these big flags here on the back and on the side can't have too many flags and that's about it heading home before it gets dark hopefully <laughs> ride right around Sally. the sun never sets on your favorite hits okay this is the guy I got has these big wings on never seen one like that ocean kayak manta huge one person guy Heavy, big, and long. Let's show you. Just got it for two hundred dollars. Never seen one. Pretty neat though. Good name brand. Should be able to get three hundred out of it. Hopefully. I don't know. It must be seventeen feet long. Okay. I bought the green one also from the guy. It was a small one. It wasn't the tandem I was thinking it was. Small little uh, fishing kayak. <coughs> up in there wasn't exactly what I wanted and he was asking 250 and it was a cheap name brand called lifetime it's something like a Walmart here's here's the lights I put on the back <coughs> after dark and I just tied it in there and I got this handy bungee here to strap the top thing down and that's it we're good to go Heading back, probably about 45 minutes from the house. That thing is sticking out there. Bye.
Okay, I just bought this Prowler 15 foot. Usually they're 13 footers. Got a rudder, which is good. But it also it was drug in the back and has a hole in the back needs to be welded up. Uh, and then uh, needs some bungees, but probably won't do that. The seat's a little rough, not too bad. Needs a cover and it needs a handle. Uh, do the cover, the handle, and the welding, and hope to get 300. So, hundred dollars, but gonna have to work for it. All right, we're heading home. This particular one is a cheap Walmart kind of guy. It's in really good condition. There's one little clip in the back needs to be fixed. You know, put another one in. Yeah, they probably sell new for 250, 300. I mean, you can make money off these cheap kayaks, but you gotta make sure they're in good shape. I'll probably sell it for 150, so I just make 50 bucks off of it. But they sell fast when they're in really good shape like this. But, all right, thanks. Heading home. That's pretty good. Somebody come and uh, give you a haircut there. Trim the beard, that'd be good. Yeah. All for 10 bucks, that's a good deal. Well, Make she sure. was doing it for nothing. Yeah. I told her, Mike, when I was in grade school, my aunt used to cut my hair for a quarter. So I gave her a quarter to it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That was a long time ago. Very Somebody long. cut your hair for a quarter. It's about twenty. Yeah. It's about twenty bucks now. That average someplace. Get a haircut and give them a tip. I was in. The, well, there was one period of time when I was in school. We'd be we'd march from the school back to the barracks. We'd have to we'd stop at this one place and get everybody go in take take their quarter go inside and get a haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course the first one, the first haircut I had with the lady they they were shaving about half of them. Yeah. Guys with <laughs> real long hair. Yeah. They <laughs> shave it almost all off. Yeah. But they didn't do that to you? No. Uh. No. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome.